Hello, this is John from caveofprogramming.com. In this tutorial on JavaFX, we're going to look at open file dialogues or file choosers. Um, so I'm going to start by copying my project from the last tutorial, which is called Menus. I'm going to copy that, paste it in here, and I'm going to rename uh, this copied version to, let's call it File Choosers. Um, and uh, now, and uh, like the object of this tutorial is, is just that I'm going to show you how to present the user with a like open file dialog when they select a menu option, and then get the name of the file from that uh, file chooser. And we'll look on, we'll look at how to do a bit more stuff with file choosers probably in the next tutorial. But let's let's run this now. So we've got uh, file choosers here. I'm going to right click and go to Run as. Java application. Let's just um, contract this menus project here. So if we look at this, this is what we've got at the moment from the last tutorial and we can quit it there. So let's go to scene builder and if I can get the thing to open, whoops, something's gone wrong with scene builder. Nice. <laughs> well, I'm just going to quit scene builder. I find it a little bit buggy, but never mind. This is Scene Builder 1.1, but at the moment, at the time of this tutorial, Scene Builder 2 doesn't seem so good either. It seems to be a work in progress. There we go. So now let's open the FXML file from that project. So I'll go to where I keep my Java FX projects here, and uh, we'll go to uh, the project I just created file choosers and here in the source fxml folder here's my main.fxml let's open that now i want to add a, a open item to the file menu so i'm going to look for menu items menu content in this library here and i'm going to select menu item let's expand the hierarchy and look for the file menu which has to be in here somewhere here we go and let's drag a menu item down onto the file menu. So I'll put it above exit. I'm going to rename this to open, underscore open. Uh, as I mentioned before, mnemonics are not working on my system with JavaFX, but I'll use that just in case they start working in future. Let's turn on mnemonic parsing, otherwise we'll see an underscore there. The underscore is to say that the O should be the mnemonic, the, the alt, the key you can use with alt to invoke that menu item. And if we don't turn, turn on mnemonic parsing, even though unfortunately for me it's not working, if we didn't turn that on, we would see that underscore in there, which would be annoying. Let's set an accelerator too. Let's go to accelerators do work. Let's set control down and um, let's set that to O so we can type control O to invoke this menu item. Then I'll go to code here and let's, for the on action for this menu item, let's say open file like that. I'll click somewhere else just to make it accept that and let's just save this and I'm going to go to file choose as my project, right click it, refresh and now let's let's take a look at the FXML so we should see that open item in there, we do see it so it looks like we've got the, the right version and I can go to my main package, my main controller and define a method public void um, open file and let's just do a sysout and I'll just output some some text in there for the moment open file open file now let's run this and see if it works so if, if I look at the file menu we've got that open item and if I select that it says open file down here and I can also do control O to invoke that menu item. Now we want to create a file chooser here, but a slight complication is that um, file choosers require a reference to the stage to work. Um, so we're going to have to pass the stage to the main controller somehow, and I've seen a couple of ways of doing this, but and neither of them, well one of them didn't even work, and the other one isn't very elegant but uh, we're just going to have to go with something, so let, let's just do this. So let's go to app.java again, and at the moment I'm using a static method of fxml loader 
to get the parent root here to load the fxml file. I'm going to change that. I'm going to declare a new fxml loader. Let's call it loader equals new fxml loader. To the constructor, I'm going to pass this stuff, this, um, this location of the fxml file. And then down here, I can, instead of using the static method, I'm going to say loader.load to get the parent root. If I save that, um, that should work, I should think. I've got it misspelt here. Loader.load, save that. And if I run this now, that should work as before. Let's try Control O, that works, good. So now we can use this loader to get a reference to the controller so that we can pass it the stage. Um, let's say my controller is called main controller. So let's say main controller equals loader dot loader dot get controller. And I'm going to have to cast the return value of this because it's it returns an object to uh, my main controller type. Let's let's say controller here and cast this to main con. Controller. Hopefully that will work. Uh, and now we can pass um, we can pass this controller a reference to the stage. So I'm going to say here controller dot init, and that this init method Eclipse autocomplete is um, annoying me here. But that init method doesn't exist yet. I'm going to define it in a minute. So let's pass in the primary stage save that. Then I'll click the error and go to create method init in main controller. So it then creates that init method for me. And I'm just going to move this to the top here. We've got a method called initialize, but we're not going to use that here. So that's passing in the, a reference to the primary stage. Let's declare a private uh, stage stage up here. And then in init, we can just, using standard ordinary Java, we can say this dot stage equals stage. So now we've got a reference to the stage stored in this variable. And we can go ahead and implement our open file dialog, our file chooser. So to do that, I'm going to just declare a file chooser here. File chooser, let's call it um, file chooser equals new file chooser. And then um, I can say here file, let's just add the import for that actually with uh, on the Mac it's command shift. Yeah I need to add the import for file and um, yeah let's so let's say file uh, file this is the file that the user is going to select to open equals file chooser dot sh dot show whoops I need the, the actual variable here that I just created file chooser dot show open dialog and I need to pass in here my reference to the stage so that should work let's just make sure we've added all the necessary um, That's, that's a little strange. Why can't I add my file there? Let's get rid of this. I think I added the wrong file. That won't help. Let's add the normal Java file, java.io.file. Okay, that looks good. And finally, we can say if file is not equal to null, then sys out a chosen file and let's output file there. So at, at, the, at a kind of minimum, this, this should probably work. Why are we getting, um, whoops, oh yeah, I called this primary stage in this init method, so I'm getting a warning here. I should have said stage. There we go. So I, th I think that's going to work. Um, this is one of the first times I've ever done that. Java FX is pretty new to me, partly why this course is free, um, but hopefully that will do the trick. Let's, let's run this. Um, and now I'm going to do, I'm going to invoke the file open menu item, but I'll just use the accelerator control O. And here we have a 
um, thing that we can use to choose files. And let, let's just choose one here and go to open. And we can see down here that we've got the location of the chosen file. There are a few things you can do with this that's useful. One thing is we can say, um, let's go here, say file chooser dot set title. And we can set that to, let's say, open text file. We want a text file so that we can load it into our text area. We can also set the um, initial directory. Let's say file chooser dot set initial directory. And I'm going to say new file in here. And then uh, the argument to file is going to be system dot get property. And I'm going to pass in there user dot home. Now I haven't tested this on Windows because I've got a Mac but it works on the Mac and hopefully it will work on Windows too. So if we run this now, let's try it. And we let's select open here. So we've set the initial directory to my home directory on the Mac here. And we've also, uh, have we got a title there? Um, can't actually see one. There's a thing that says hello world at the top. That would be the name of my application. Well, yeah, anyway, I'm not sure if set title really worked, but let's, um, let's continue anyway. Maybe I could, I could change the title of my primary stage here to something like um, text pad demo here in my main method. Let's just try that once more. I'm a little bit curious. I'll move this over here. And well, it still comes up in the same place and there's no title, but maybe on your system there will be, I don't know. The other very useful thing that we can do here is if we go, if we go back to the controller, is we can set file filters here so that you can only enter certain, um, certain kinds of file. Let's say uh, file chooser dot get extension filters. And then in here, I can add a collection of filters to add. Uh, well, I'm going to say get extension filters dot add all. Open a curly bracket and let's close it down here. And in here, I'm going to say new file chooser. New file chooser um, dot extension filter. And for the first argument for this, I'm going to say text files. And for the second argument here, it's also a string. I'm going to say star dot txt. So we can filter by on txt files. Let's put another one in there. So in this in this list, I can add a. Let's copy this one. And let's add it all files as well. Let's say all files star dot star that hopefully should do the trick and I need to delete that extra comma there so I'm going to save this and let's run it once more and open the open file dialog and now it's got text files selected and you can see that most stuff is greyed out here not actually sure where I can find a text file on my system here there's one um, if you if we set this to all files then well it would be nice if it allowed us to set all files, select all files. Not completely sure it's fully working. Yeah, looks a bit weird. I think JavaFX is quite buggy at the moment, but anyway, at least the text filter is definitely working. Uh, it's possible I've done something wrong, but I'm not really sure. Let's just try that once more. Let's go to File, Open, and all files. So I don't, I don't think this filter is working. But anyway, I'm going to, I'm going to look into that. It might work on your system, but not on mine. Um, and if it does, well, let me know. And I'm going to do some searching on the internet just to see if other people have got this to work. But anyway, let's try selecting this file, go to open. And then we get the name of it being output down here because we output it here.
So that's it for this tutorial. We're going to continue looking at file choosers a bit in the next tutorial. And we're going to see if we can implement some functionality to actually open that file and display the contents of it. So until next time, happy coding.